Hi and welcome. I'm Rob Thomas here, your enterprise architect, and I am going to walk you through and getting you started with everything Office 365. Now, Office 365 is by far my favorite and most exciting suite of application for Microsoft Office that I passionately love. I've been on this platform for over 10 years and been using this heavily and i really wanted to share this experience with you when you're getting started for the first time with office 365 so by all due means let's get started so when you first go to office 365 you're going to go to login.microsoftonline.com when you get there you can ignore these this end but it'll pre-populate you're going to put in your username and your password after you already signed up and got an account and you're ready to go once you're signed up and in you're going to go to this page and this page is going to be your your um your basic uh microsoft office 365 homepage. once you get to this page you're going to notice to the left you're going to have a suite of different items that you can use you're going to be able to have outlook teams word excel powerpoint admin which i'm going to cover briefly but today i'm only really going to focus on the things that matter to you most like what are you going to use so you'll go to this waffle section here and then if you want to see a suite of apps and only really apps that really make sense to you is going to be this Outlook OneDrive. Um, definitely you're going to be using Word and Excel and sometimes PowerPoint, but really the really power and value of this is SharePoint. You're getting SharePoint for pennies and you're also um, getting, you're also getting Teams, you're getting um, uh, the Power App and you're also getting Microsoft Planner. And you're getting all these features for very, very low cost with some other cool things like list. A lot of times if you're a big Google person, you're spending a lot of times creating Excel sheets. So list is really just a really fancy form of Excel inside of an infrastructure it makes life a lot more easier. So as you click on this more apps, this is going to just show you pretty much like everything you'll get into here. And then now you can see planner showed up and you'll see, you know, your suite of apps that are here. Again, you'll go back to the waffle and you can just see, I'll have calendar loop stream sway planner, more apps, you know, just, you know, create, create more basically documents, work presentations and surveys. And this is just really letting you know, like I'm, I'm in here, I can look at forums, calendar, Wave, engage, stream, try to figure out like what this loop thing is, play around with it, you know, power pages. And then I want to start automating power automate. And, and the, again, the beautiful thing about this platform is, is that all of these applications, since they're on the, the actual Microsoft Office 365 uh, platform, you do not have to use Zapier or um, any other automation tool to integrate and bring apps in. Now you can, if you're currently right now, like I am, I'm using like Active Campaign or in other applications, I would definitely use Zapier to integrate from my Office 365 into those platforms, but I'm doing less integrations because it's just a native uh, infrastructure and suite. And because I have that, I can now start leveraging Power Automate to do to automate some tasks inside of my whole application suite. Again, I get all this capability, all these features, all these additional apps for this ridiculously monthly low cost or, uh, or annual um, yearly low cost. And this is the power of Office 365. Now, Typical, you come in here and you'll cl click on calendar or you'll, cl or you'll click here on, on Outlook or you can go in here into Waffle and then click on Outlook and then it'll take you here and it's just your straightforward. You'll, you'll, you'll basically, you'll have access to your Microsoft Outlook. You can also download the app onto your iPhone or your Android. You can download the Outlook app. You, you can also download, you know, the Word, the SharePoint app, the Planner app, and just use your same username and password and you'll be able to access all those apps individually on your mobile device. So I just wanted to mention that the capability and features, but you definitely have the capability to come in here and just for uh, play around. You can see here, you know, show um, um, images and you can see now I have, you know, access. I just created a user in here and it gave me a password and so forth, which I'm going to do. I'm going to show you that. Also, another beautiful thing is, is that when I'm in here and I click on Word, my Word document actually come up and I can work in my Word document. I also have the capability to take my Word document 
um, right here and open in the desktop right there. So if I open it up in a desktop, I'm able to actually work on this document on my desktop and it'll auto update into this infrastructure. Another super powerful, beautiful feature of Office 365, it is um, SharePoint. And this is the one thing I really love about this, this platform and actually collaboration. In SharePoint, when I'm updating, when I'm adding documents in here inside of um, my administration or my general, this is like typical folders, right? I have a, a document that I added in here and it's a Word document. And then what's going to happen is now that um, I can be working with my offshore team and as they're making updates, I'll see those live updates. I also see it right here in my Microsoft Word document on my desktop. I'll be able to see these live updates being made as I'm working in this document and it is true collaboration. It is not like I'm working in my document, you're telling me I'm gonna get true collaboration, but that's not really happening. I'm actually having to take the document and download the document onto my desktop and then I'm gonna to have to work on it and then I'm done and I have to upload it and then wait for them to provide the updates. No, none of that in SharePoint. None of that in document sharing and collaboration inside of Office 365. It is true collaboration. We're all working on a document at the same time. It could be 10 users in here and we're all working aggressively together to get a proposal out and to win over a deal. Powerful feature that I use working with my offshore team. So highly recommend this as I haven't been a fan of, of collaboration tools and other platforms when it's not true collaboration. All right. Now, you know, basic things like if you're using Dropbox or Box.com, Microsoft has their own uh, their own OneDrive, which is just like that. Again, it's all built into this infrastructure. You can again, you can integrate, you can build automation between these platforms, and it's all built in one platform. So you can see I have folders here. I can keep updating, and then you can you can also purchase more storage. So you come with you know one terabyte, one percent use, but you can over time like purchase more storage and increase that to like five terabytes, right, across your whole platform. Um, Beautiful feature, Stream. So right now I'm recording this using Camstasia. So I could also use Stream to do actual camp recording. So whenever, and I use Stream very heavily for my internal team. I come in here and I will record a session and I will show people how to do things, my team, specifically what I what I need done for like lead, you know, running cold campaigns, leads, um, lead gen, um, a cold email campaigns, or or um, some training on specifically our sales process or whatever. I'm I'm creating these videos, leaving women in here, and then collaborating with other tools like Teams, um, as I mentioned over here. So I'll create a team channel and then put this video in there, and then they can go to the link and they'll be able to see. They can also see all the videos I have in this infrastructure. And then as I mentioned, Planner. Planner is a really powerful tool. You get this for low cost. You're able to come into Planner and create out a plan. And I will cover these in a lot more depth, like how to use Stream, how to use Planner, um, and how to use SharePoint. The next one is going to be SharePoint. Again, another powerful tool. You can go in here and create your SharePoint sites. They have some really cool templates to get you started. Go in here and change these pictures out, change things that what you want to do, really figure out how to have a place for your team to come to and engage and start collaborating where Everything that has to do with marketing, so you see here, I always create a SharePoint site for each department. So it'll be like nine departments, marketing, sales, engineering, product development, and then all the documents. And then I also will connect the SharePoint site to all my other apps, like onto my team. I create a team channel that connects to this. Um, I'll make sure I have a folder uh, that connects to this. I also have streams stuff connected to this. I also have a planner environment, um, a, pl a planner uh, um, section that's uh, tied to engineering. So. So that gives you kind of an idea. And then issue tracker is an, another cool feature, which is also connected into my, my SharePoint site. So issue tracker is just more like Excel where I could just create, you know, multiple different type of lists. And that really would call it list. So I'll go to list and I'll go into list and then I can create all my cool list. I can basically go in here and say, hey, create some lists that are really interesting and fun. Right. And then the last thing you could just see all the, the samples and so forth or creating different lists. Similar you do on Google. Now. The other last thing I do want to cover is setting up your domain. So when you're in here, you actually come in here and I will spend a really, I sp uh, create a couple of videos to get into depth, but I go to admin and I, and basically when you're in the admin um, um, panel right here, it's going to take you to 
uh, this section. And then what I'll do is go in here and basically go down to domains right here and then just, you know, click add domains. And then, as I mentioned previously, you'll do your domain setup in your DNS. So I'll go into my DNS and set everything up as I create my domains. So that this is one of the most vital areas you're coming in, like coming in and just really getting your domain set up. And then the last two things I wanted to touch on is creating users. When you're in the admin panel, you're really only in here under creating users and um, setting up your domains. And while I'm in here creating users, I could just go in here, add a new user, um, go through the steps of adding users, user, add their names, set up, you know, set up a license, assign them a license, give them a profile, make this process of adding 50 users to set up and so forth. So I'll go through that process of setting up an active user that I'm going to sign a license to. Now, the last thing is, is that I would come in here and then create a shared email account. So I'll basically come in here and then just, you know, give my shared email account um, a name and an email address and basically just create that shared user. And basically this shared user can now be shared with all of the people that I designate for my active users. So that's really all the only places you're going to, you're going to spend when you, you're getting started. You are, are really just in this environment and you are um, uh, spending time on your active users. I'm going to your shared account. Um, and then some more advanced, which we're not going to cover today, is um, basically I would actually have us uh, uh, go over security, but you would actually come in and just set your domain up. So that, that pretty much cover it. So I hope you're excited. I, I wish you the best of luck in your journey with Office 365. I know you're going to get the greatest and fun time using the tool. So enjoy and look forward to seeing you on other future videos. Thanks. Bye.